The girl you like, she's ignoring you. But look, man, it's a rite of passage. It happens to all of us. Don't worry though, because today I'm gonna show you a unique set of strategies that make it impossible for her to ever ignore you. With the final strategies, showing you how to prevent you from ever being ignored by any other girl ever again. Number one, manipulate her reptilian brain. Humans are very simple creatures that still rely on the reptilian parts of the brain that used to keep us alive back when we were hunter-gatherers. Because of this, you can't ignore that area of the brain. So I'm gonna show you how to manipulate it. You see, that reptilian brain only understands black and white messages. Something is good or bad, you need to fight or flight, and is it pain or pleasure? So to appeal to that reptile brain, you need a texture with black and white style messages. For example, rather than just asking her out on a regular date, instead I want you to send her a text like, hey, you wanna come to a party with me this week? Or would you rather just sit at home alone? Because now you are capitalizing on the reptile part of the brain. She'll be scared of missing out, which will make it impossible for her to ignore you. And just like I told you, she ignores you because you don't know where to manipulate. You trigger her reptilian brain, she won't be able to. And I'm just getting started because these next two tricks will show you what to do when you are getting ignored. With the last four, showing you what to do so you never get ignored. Two, do something unexpected to have you think about you all day. Just imagine this, you're talking to a girl and she's just not paying attention to you, acting like you're not even there. This is when you introduce unexpected behavior, which will flip the script and have her thinking about you nonstop. You see, people are creatures of habit that expect conversations to follow a certain pattern. But when you use something like unexpected behavior, you trigger something called the afterthought effect, in which because something unexpected happened and you basically were just talking to the back of me. The point was, that was a simple explanation just to show you that because you didn't expect me to get up and just turn around and talk to a wall, you will be replaying that moment for the rest of the day in your head. So here's how you're gonna use it yourself. Let's say you're interacting with the girl for the first time. You see, most guys will do what is expected and proceed with asking her for her number. But I want you to do something unexpected by telling her that she should ask for your phone number instead. You're gonna need a little bit of confidence here, but at peak conversation, I want you to drop a line like this. I think this is the point where you asked me for my number. Give it a little grin, make sure you're confident, have that eye contact. You're gonna throw her off her game because you didn't ask for her number and you're telling her she should ask for yours. She'll think about that for the rest of the day. Three, spark in her a past emotion to make her go crazy for you. If a girl is ignoring you, you're gonna have to tap into her memories to figure out what she liked and have her associate you with that feeling. When you do this, she'll never be able to ignore you. So to trigger that past emotion, you're gonna have to follow three steps. First, you will trigger the emotion using one of the five human senses. All five senses could work. However, science does state that the sense of scent is one of the most powerful triggers of memory. It is so powerful that one study found that scents from our past increase positive emotions while decreasing negative ones. So to capitalize on the power of scent, you will use a cologne that matches the scent of one of the ex guys she used to like. Of course, it's impossible for you to know exactly what scent they were using, but this is a good thing. Most men will gravitate towards woody fragrances like your Dior Sauvage. This takes me to step number two. You will pick a fragrance that uses woody notes. That in and of itself will be enough to trigger an emotional response in her. Remember how I said that you not knowing the exact fragrance was a good thing? Well, instead of using Dior Sauvage like every other guy she's probably dated, use something a bit more unique that won't smell like any other man she's ever met. I'll give you an example. I just picked up this fragrance called Handsome Devil. It's from a brand called Grooming Lounge and it has undertones of wood. And I recently added it to my collection and every day I wear it, I always get compliments but the most common one is where did I get it? Because it's so unique, it's hard for people to pick up exactly what fragrance I'm wearing. That is the key part where you will win. Because the fragrance has other notes that she hasn't experienced yet, she can now make new memories that she will only associate to you and your new scent. Think about what just happened here. You triggered an old positive memory. She associates that positive memory with you and now she's creating new memories because of the new notes that is attached to that new scent. How can she ignore you? Third, you will stack your fragrances. Don't just wear the fragrances that I tell you to wear. Stack your scents to truly make them one of one fragrances that nobody else has. For example, the way I stack fragrances is with my body wash. This one that I'm using is the best smeller from Grooming Lounge. And just like the name says, it smells amazing every time I shower with it. But it also has different notes from the main fragrance that I decide to stack on top of it. This exact best smeller contains cranberry and spicy scents 
which, according to science, fruit and vegetable scents are extremely attractive to women. Imagine compounding that while triggering a past emotion. So to recap, you will trigger a past emotion in her so she can never ignore you. And if you guys want to check out amazing grooming products from fragrances, body washes, deodorant, and anything else you need for your bathroom, I suggest you check out Grooming Lounge because everything they put out smells fantastic. If you guys want to check it out, it'll be linked down below with the limited time discount to make the fragrances and the body wash extremely affordable. Four, master one of the 10 hobbies women find attractive. Look, the girl you like is ignoring you and I know it hurts. And as your older brother, I don't want you to hurt anymore, but I do have to tell you the truth. Sometimes she could be right. It could mean that maybe you have a boring life or something that just doesn't interest women. Now, yes, that hurts for me to tell you that, but you need to open your eyes because now your new goal should be to become a man that can never be ignored. And the way you do that is by becoming interested. So I'm gonna show you hobbies and traits that according to science, women find desirable. During a study, millions of dating profiles were analyzed to find what hobbies women deemed to be the most attractive. Researchers found that these were the top 10 most attractive hobbies a man can have in order. Traveling, exercising, theater, dancing, cooking, outdoor interest, politics, pets, photography, and sports watch. And then I want you to find that sweet spot between these hobbies, her interests, and an area where you know you have a competitive advantage in. For example, if she likes watching football with her dad and you've always been interested in football, then maybe it's time to join a recreational football team where you get healthier, you have a competitive advantage, and you know she can't ignore it. Five, change how you text her to shift the power over to you. When you're texting a girl, a lot of guys will send a good night text as soon as they head to bed. But this good night text ends the conversation with you being the needy one. Girls will always ignore the needy guy. So let me show you a way of winning this battle by just changing the way that you text. At night, if you notice that she's taking longer to reply or maybe starts ignoring your messages, rather than sending her a good night text, just don't reply. When you don't end the conversation, it leaves her wondering why didn't he say goodnight like usual? Or why did he leave me on red? This shifts the power over to you. When someone loses control, they are prone to make irrational decisions, suggesting that she is more likely to message you first the next morning. Now, at this point, you've manipulated her reptilian brain, used unexpected behavior so she never forgets you. You sparked a past emotion. You mastered a hobby that she can't ignore. And then you shifted power over to you by just changing how you text. Now, I got two more methods that will prevent you from getting ignored forever, but you have to use them together. Six, identify your approval seeking behavior. When a guy gets ignored, they get desperate and they try to seek approval from the same girl that's ignoring them. They blow up her phone with text, they shower the woman with compliments and constantly ask her if he did something wrong. This exact approval seeking behavior is making her ignore you even more. Therefore, if you can prevent your approval seeking behaviors, you will come across as more attractive and difficult to ignore. And you can do this using something called the HALT method. HALT stands for hungry, angry, lonely, and tired. Each word represents an emotion that can mess with your head and make you act in a way that appears needy. So the next time that you wanna send her another text because she hasn't replied, I want you to run through these four words and see if it's emotions that are driving you. So if you're hungry, go eat something. If you're angry, go for a walk outside. If you're lonely, call up a friend. And if you're tired, go take a nap. Number seven, master the three dark triad traits. These dark triad traits are the reason women love bad guys. The three dark traits are narcissism, Machiavellianism, and psychopathy. These traits are seen as a negative, but when you use them on a girl that's ignoring you, she won't be able to resist you. So here is a breakdown on how you use all three traits. First is narcissism, which means that you have a high self-esteem, a big ego, and a strong desire to be admired by those around you. To use narcissism, when a girl is ignoring you, I want you to carefully share stories and photos on social media that highlight the exciting things that you are doing and the girls that you're hanging around with. Machiavellianism involves being manipulative and strategic in social interactions. And here's how you're gonna use it. First, you're gonna read a book called The Art of Seduction. It's written by the author Robert Greene, which is the same author from The 48 Laws of Power. Then you will use one of the teachings from chapter four, appear to be an object of desire. To become an object of desire, 
If a girl is ignoring you and you know that she's gonna be at a certain event, I want you to show up and socialize with everyone but her. Then, if you notice that she saw you, I want you to walk up, compliment her, speak to her for a minute, and then abruptly leave to go talk with everyone else. By doing this, you also be using the teachings of chapter 23, mastering the art of the bold move, showing her that you are in control of the situation rather than awkwardly avoiding it. Finally, there's psychopathy, which means that you just have low empathy. To use psychopathy, I want you to truly master the HALT method we just discussed in the previous tip. That emotional control that you will have will make you seem less empathetic, more cold, more like the bad guy, and that she can never ignore. So boys, you use these three dark triad traits with everything else in the video, I promise you, you'll never be ignored again.